Hi everybody and welcome to True Wants, where here we try to help you make that decision if it's going to change from a want to a need. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you will choose to subscribe. It's free and it's easy. It's the red button that you'll see right underneath this video. If you press it and it turns gray, you're in. It's that simple. There's also a bell beside that subscribe button that I always recommend that you press. It's called the notification bell. And what ends up happening is YouTube will notify you just once that I have uploaded a brand new video. I do upload a lot and sometimes my videos are time sensitive so I don't want you to miss out. So make sure to press that subscribe button, ring that bell and you'll be in the know. Also right underneath the video there is that thumbs up that's important on the YouTube platform for the growth of a YouTuber. So if you're enjoying the content please take a second to hit that thumbs up. It will increase the number will turn blue Everything that you can do to help True Ones get recognized on the YouTube platform is as simple as a thumbs up. So I'm thanking you in advance for that thumbs up. Okay, today is a day that I'm going to be sharing with you something that I got in the, I think now it's called the, uh, it used to be called add-ons, I think now it's called the drop shop. I wasn't planning on getting anything at all in the drop shop this time around because I knew November was going to be a big month with so many deals and things like that. So I was looking around and as you know, I share with you on the channel, I go through if there's any amazing deals and things like that. But there was something that stuck out that I thought was a pricing error and I decided to try to order it so that if I didn't get it, we wouldn't talk about it. And if I did get it, then I would share with you about it. So a lot of times that sometimes happens on Ipsy when I'm going through all of the information with you, we're able to see that something is either in the wrong categories in the $3 section, or if it's in the you know $12 section, it's, it says that it's only you know a certain dollar, but not the right dollar to it. So what ended up happening with this one is, and it lasted there for a couple of days. So I didn't think it was a pricing error until the third time when I checked after I ordered it, I went back in the next day and the price went back to where it should be. Everything in that column was supposed to be $12.99. This one was the Laura Geller palette and brush set. And like I said, everything in that line was $12.99. But for some reason on this one, it said $6.93. And with the drop shop, like with the add-ons, there is no uh, shipping. You can buy just one thing. You don't have to get to a certain level where with the mega drop shop, you usually have to have a $25 minimum. So I really had nothing to lose. If it came great, if it didn't, and they credited me back, I was fine with that too. This is a $48 value as per their website. And like I said, I paid $6.93. I'm supposed to get a Diva eye brush set as well as this Laura Geller eyeshadow palette. And the eyeshadow palette, the description says you are a natural. It is a multi-finish eyeshadow palette. Nothing boring about these neutral shades. There's supposed to be three finishes, a velvety matte, a shimmery suede, and a liquid metallic. And it's in 12 flattering tones. This eyeshadow palette gives you everything you need and brings out your natural beauty. And then the brush set simply says, perfect your eyes uh, look with this cruelty-free brush set for eyeshadows and eyeliner. And then I got an email. And I thought it was the email that was going to say, sorry, there was a pricing error and we can't, you know, fulfill your order or whatever. But it wasn't that at all. They were saying that I'm going to be receiving two boxes because they're going to be splitting this duo. So on top of me getting this amazing deal, it cost them twice to ship it out. And whenever I get these plain boxes now, I know that this is usually from the add-on or the drop you know, shop, which is what they're calling it now. So that's why on the video, I show you that it's BoxyCharm and uh, I keep that uh, box here so that I'm able to share with you that this plain box is what that is. So this is what happened. I got ended up getting two boxes like this. So when they both arrived, I put them aside and I said, when I have the chance to sit down and film, that's what I'm gonna do and share it with you. So the first box that arrived was the brush set and it came in this packaging here and it says it's from Beauty Diva London and it's the Diva Eye Brush Set. And they're saying it's perfect your eyes with this cruelty-free brush set for eye shadow and eyeliner. And they're saying it is uh, distributed by a Garrett Hewitt International in New York. They're saying they are made in PRC. And this is what these uh, brushes are here. I think I gave these away because I cannot remember using them in something like this with this type of vibrant color. I definitely is one that I would remember and uh, I would have shared it with you in my makeup of the days. Uh, those are my videos that I share with you when I test and try new products. 
if you ever want to get any reviews, you know, from me, that's where you will find them. You go into my video section, into the search bar, you type in MOTD, and then you will see all of those videos where I tell you what I have on my face from the primer right to the setting spray. So this, these are these four brushes that are in here. They look beautiful, they look nice. If you've had the opportunity to try these, please share with me in the comments down below because I can't remember trying it. This was a product that I did not get in my boxes, any of them. And uh, I saw a few girls got this and they were really impressed with it. They initially said another boring palette and then they said when they had the opportunity to use it, the few girls that I watch, they all enjoyed it. So it says nothing boring about these neutral shades. We went through all that in the intro and then those are what the shades look like here. So it comes fully, you know, retail packaged. This is what the component looks like here. The names of the shadows are on the back. And like it said, it's a multi finish. So it comes with the safety shield and it has a full mirror, the extent of the entire case. And that is what the colors look like here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch these for you so that you guys can see what these are all about because I'm really intrigued, not that I need another eyeshadow palette nor you know the colors, but this is a, a formula that I don't remember trying from Laura Geller with all these different shades uh, and, and textures. So we're gonna do some quick swatching to see what they're all about. They feel, the first four feel uh, really, really silky, but they look very, very light to me just off the bat. But I'm gonna put them on my hand, so hopefully the camera will pick some of that up. So those are the first four there. I do have a wet uh, little towelette here and a dry cloth right beside it. And now we're gonna do the four in the middle. And those, what that's what looks like there. So. This one feels the same as the top as well as the last one. The two in the middle look more like shimmer shades and I'll put them right above them here. Yeah, they're very, very lightly pigmented. So the you might have to go in, this might be a nice beginner's palette, but swatches just really for me, give me what the colors are like. And then it gives me some ideas of how I'm gonna play with them on my eyes. And then depending on the brush that you use too, and if you wet your shadows, you'll get some different color payoff from it too. The shimmers are stunning. This is the last row here. So those are beyond gorgeous. Look at that copper one right there. So it might just be that I have to double dip in some of these because uh, they look really, really light, but the shimmer shades in this are absolutely stunning. So. To me, to, you know, to get all of this for six dollars and you know, and ninety-three cents, seven dollars to my door, I think is an absolute steal. Tell me if you picked this up as well, if you also saw that deal. But also, if you've had the opportunity to play with this palette, because you might have received it in your box, I would love to know that as well. So that is the Laura Geller Your Natural Multi Finish Eyeshadow Palette. That's what I just swatched and showed you here. I'll do it one more time where you guys can see the the uh, actual product up close. So that's the formula, that's, I'm sorry, the colors, and that's what it looks like there. And going from the back of the carton, it's saying uh, barely there, which is a good name for it. It says too bare to care, summer fling, rose all day, jet setter, oh sandy, nude beach, blushing, island hopper, good as nude, sun kissed, and taupe -less. That is what that is there. So that is the eyeshadow palette. And then again, the brushes uh, from this brand, Beauty Diva London. All right, so that's everything that I got in the sale. Like I said, if this arrived and you know, <laughs> I just got the brushes or I just got the palette for, for $7, I think that is an absolute steal. Please, you know, share with me in the comments down below. Like I said, if you've had the opportunity to play with this palette yet, uh, and if you received it in your boxes or if you saw this deal and you ended up picking it up as well uh, in the uh, sale that they were having. Because like I said, I didn't do it initially. On the second day when I saw the price was still there at that price, that's when I bought it. But when I went in the third day, it was back to $12.99. So it definitely was an error on the system. So I'm happy that we were able to get it uh, here. And like I said, it comes in this plain brown box. So if you see these, this is your box of charm add-ons, which is now called Drop Shop. And I think that's everything that I have for you guys. So 
I mean, the retail values on this are crazy. I mean, for this palette and these brushes, $48 is why I love the add-on sales. So if a palette is a little disappointing and there's only a couple of shades in it that are winners, when it's only six or seven dollars, I'm okay. If I would have paid $48 for this, I think I would have been disappointed. Please share with me, like I said, in the comments down below. That's it for today, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye for now.